welcome back guys um so today i figured that i would get into some top 10 facts about cbd oil which is said sorry i'm holding my vape pen which did have and will have cbd oil in it i use it for pain um but i figured we get into the top 10 facts about CBD oil, just to give you guys a little more information about it. Um, I myself just started this, so it's, I'm not like a very overly educated source about it, but I do know it does help with my pain. So that being said, let's jump into our countdown. No, or er, our top 10 facts. Number one, its trade name is Cannabidol. Cam Cambidol, yes, Cambidol. CBD oil um, is actually a cannabinoid that makes up the plant itself. It's not actually the plant it just makes up half the plant there's cbd then there's like the thc and then there's about 13 or 14 other cannabinoids that make up the plant um so on to number two cbd oil is an is not is a non-psychoactive meaning it won't alter your brain chemistry, meaning it won't make you high. THC is what makes you feel the euphoria feeling of that. CBD oil, however, does not. So, it all just, I mean, in my opinion, I like CBD oil better because it doesn't drag you down or make you sleepy. So, that's, I mean, it won't get you high. And contrary to popular belief, it does not kill brain cells, people. Does not. No. No, no, no. Does not. Number three, CBD oil is safe in high doses. Um, there's, say for instance, when you go to a vape shop and get your nicotine for your vape pen, they come in different milligrams of nicotine. There's three, six, and I'm not sure if there's 10 or not, because I never went that high, because I don't like too much nicotine in my stuff. But the CBD oil comes in uh, like 500, I believe, 500 or less than that, something like that, I can't remember. Um, so yes, it is safe with high doses and high doses. Number four, um, there's different strains of CBD oil and one strain that I'm going to talk about right now is called Charlotte's Web. And Charlotte's Web was originally named Hippie's Disappointment. Why? I'll tell you. It was named Hippie's Disappointment because of the lack of THC in it. The, the concentration of THC. Therefore, it did not give people the euphoria feeling that they wanted. So it was named Hippie's Disappointment. Number five. Um, C 
CBD, the cannibal cannabinoid, um, accounts for 40% of the plant itself. Sorry, I had stuff written down. It's like 40% of the plant extract itself and then there's you know your THC your 13 14 other cannabinoids like I mentioned um so it's it's makes up a little less than half of your plant number six on our countdown CBD from hemp is legal. Yes, I said from hemp is legal. Um, you know, hemp is sold in stores. There's hemp lotion, hemp hemp seeds. You can put, you know, put in stuff. There's anything of that nature. Hemp is legal. It is legal, which means it is permitted. Number seven is CBD oil does have medical value. Reason I say that, there are studies that have shown it has helped with certain ailments. Um, and has even maybe improved quality of life for some people which brings us to number eight studies show it helps prevent psychosis and many other medical conditions meaning you know bipolar disorder it may help schizophrenia I'm not too sure on that because I mean they could use it with their medications to help prevent them going into psychosis but um, it helps bipolar disorder and anxiety. I have both and it, it does help that as well as helping loosen my muscles a tiny bit to where I'm not spasming. Like last night, last night was a bad night for me. I kept, um, my legs just would not hold still for some reason. So that being said, Let's go on to number nine. It treats arthritis pain, which I too have. It can help reduce that. And it treats chronic pain. That has to do with, oh, you know, CP and sitting in wheelchairs and uh, fibromyalgia and, and depression because depression can cause chronic pain, believe it or not. And all that um, good stuff. So do, what I'm saying is do your research on the internet. There's a whole long list of stuff that CBD oil helps with. I was not going to write down the whole list because it would take up several pages. So on to number 10, guys. Number 10 is astounded me. Astounded me. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. Um, and let me tell you why. It's because it says it helps combat cancer spread. And this is scientifically proven, guys. This came from a scientific, you know, through my research, it came from a scientific journal that I found. Um, it doesn't cure the cancer, but it helps stop the spread of cancer so it won't go to your other organs around it. Um... And then your treatments, whatever your doctor should deem is right for you, will maybe help shrink that and you can um, try to live your life as normally as possible. Also, it does help with nausea and vomiting and, and increase in appetite. So if you have difficulty gaining weight, um, then you've tried all other forms of it forms of trying to get your weight back up try this it may help it did not increase my appetite at all it just made me kind of sleepy 
but you know that's just me so with that being said i want you to roll that like button over i want you to subscribe if you're new here give me a thumbs down if you didn't like this video um i try to make new videos every other day um that being said my schedule is a little wonky with my allergies being the way they are um so i'm hoping to get back on track soon um check out my social media accounts as well as my patreon and i'll see you guys in the next video stay beautiful bye